Hey, this is Tiger. Welcome to my stream. It is a bit of a surprise stream because I have to fix some mistakes that I made yesterday in the stream about the Holiday Express, the Holiday Special stream. We couldn't finish the last scenario. And now I found out sometimes it is like this. You wake up and you think, hmm, maybe this was the problem. And I guess it was the problem. We will go into that uh, straight away. Hey AJ, thank you for moderating this uh, stream again. I will just turn on the markets for the DLC and the service and then we will just jump into it, continue a Christmas story to the last scenario, the plight of the navigator. If you have seen the stream yesterday, you might remember that I had problems with advancing the a scenario because I parked my train in front of the fireplace place and I got the rewards for doing this but the scenario was not advanced and I think it is because I uncoupled one car to less to few or whatever and uh, this is because I always play without the object markers uh, turned on and so I did not see which cars actually I uncoupled or I obviously I saw which I uncoupled but I did not see which of them I was supposed to uncouple or I did not pay attention for it and maybe I took one car too many with me and then I got the reward for getting in front of the fireplace but for some reason um, the game was not advanced, so you have to obey strictly what they tell you, which cars to uncouple. And I think it is a bug anyway, because the game should not allow you to progress to the go back to the fireplace waypoint if you do not comply. I did actually not yet uh, file a bug report because I was waiting for the video of last night's stream to uh, compile on YouTube what it has not so far and um, because I wanted to link the video in my bug report. So if I put in the bug report then the bug report would say yeah, if you uncouple at the wrong spot and split your train in the wrong spot then the scenario gets advanced what it shouldn't um, but then you cannot get an advancement on the next spot in front of the fireplace <coughs> well I hope it works now because I tried it this morning with the object markers turned on and then it worked and I, th I thought okay I do this in another stream tonight and I hope it works now because I turned the object markers off again obviously because I never like them on what is this now? Drive slowly into the biogons. And here we are. Now we set the switches. It's enough to set this switch. The other one we will set by running over it need the external hank camera to see where the track ends so that we do not run off the track <coughs>
And then I have to pay a better attention on what the game is telling me about which cars actually to uh, uncouple. So that we do not run into the same problem as last night. Okay. The RY, IST, and CHR cars we are supposed to uncouple. So that's the three of them, right? And I think <coughs> for some reason I uncoupled them in the wrong spot. And see, the game gets advanced even though I did not uncouple anything. And sends me back to the fireplace. Well. That's what it said. Those three cars are supposed to be uncoupled and I take two cars with me. Reverse. And get it moving. <coughs> And I hope Yeah, now it works. Look look at this. So it was a bit my own fault because I did it wrong. I uncoupled one car to less to few. AJ tell me what is the correct word to say in this connection? But the game should have not advanced the scenario anyway. Go to the right here. Yeah, go on this track. To view. <coughs> okay, so I, I established this. To go back to forwards. This car goes into the third siding, the one closest to the wall. Okay, uncouple the Murr car so that I do not have, I only have one car left, the Murr car gets uncoupled. Good. Go to the fireplace. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, it's always nice to make a mistake and then find out what you what you did wrong. Couple to formation, the RY is and CR cars. That's the cars that we left in the middle siding. <coughs> Well, I had a feeling that it was either 
exclusively my own fault or something a bit weird <coughs> that does not happen a lot and I guess there was nothing on the forums because either people did not play without the objective markers or they just paid attention and uncoupled the correct amount of cars. So it's more a fail-safe issue than a real bug in the scenario. Careful not to push the cars <laughs> out of the track. And see how nicely we can we can shift our cars now. And yesterday we were so confused. <coughs> it is part of the second tier of the mastery to this uh, DLC, by the way. But I forgot what we get if we complete the mastery. If it does not take too long to complete this scenario here, we can just have a look. Couple the Mur car to the formation. Alright, that is the one that we placed on the third siding. Off we go. Now I just have to play safe enough not to derail the cars by hitting them too hard. Mm, still works with the independent brake. Even though we have almost a full train. And coupled. Uncoupled the Mur and Re, so we have already fixed the Mary. Mary ist Kirmas. Alright, that's almost done. Fireplace. Remember when we did the limited power scenario in the Clinchfield Railroad? I always have to think of that because it is DF7 in real. And it has this routine of building up power and then releasing the independent brake. Alright, okay, we go to door yard one. We have not been there. So this is this switch. We mustn't go so deep into it. Would be fun if we could do some kicking or humping here. I think we hit it. 
Not quite, huh? A bit more. Now we're talking. Uncouple the East car. Then we uncouple the East car. And uh, <coughs> let me guess we're going back to the fireplace. And I guess we are coupling the CHR car to the Merry cars. But it's a bit sad that they did not trust their players to do that on their own and to figure out how to do the shunting so that they end up with the correct sequence in the end. <laughs> Why are you helping us? Well, that's why I, I enjoyed so much in in the in the petrochemical chaos scenario when it really went chaotic and the ethanol loading did not work, and we had to figure out how to load our ten cars in a different spot. If I was in charge, we had a lot of scenarios of that kind. <laughs> now everybody says, great that Tiger is not in charge. Let's uncouple. Now we pick up the other car and then we get this consists here, if I manage to hit that cut bar, and then we're done. Fireplace.
and get the rest. Oops, that was the wrong button. That is the correct one. Nope, that is not the correct switch. That is the correct switch. Not that we derail in the end, right? And go to the fireplace, and I think our train is done. Sure, the marker is in a different spot now. Ah, they want me to foul the switch. Look at that. Why do they want me to foul the switch? But if you insist, then I will foul the switch. And now, return to the table to admire your work. Okay. Probably. Mm, probably. The loco needed to go there because the train needed to be centered. to the table. Where do we have to go? Here. Well done, your switching skill are just the right ticket. The blows the blocks now add to the festival. Spirit. Well, your 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 words about the rhyming skills. I remember them. All right, that was that. They were pretty right with the time estimate of twenty-five minutes. Yeah, that's true. Mm. How long did it take us? I did not. Twenty-three something. <laughs> Good that there is some delay on the. On the <laughs> on the stream, so I could look on the second screen and see that. Even though I had already clicked on. So the mastery for this DLC. What does it, does it take us to do? Oh, what is it? 
today's daily what we are supposed to do complete a scenario on any UK route all right this obviously does not count as a UK route Holiday Express we did this and uh, we have to drive a bit and what do we get then then we are then we get to do to to drive around toy cars isn't that sweet? What do you think, H? Should we do that? Just drive around. Don't know how long it takes. And um, what do we have to do in this? There was this thing. Chapter select. Was there a second? I'll be back. Flight of the navigator. Ah, uh, I see. It is cut into two halves. But there was this one with the coal. That was cool, where we had the caboose. Let's go into that again. Up to me. Yeah, come, let's see. I, I don't know how long actually I, I need to drive there because. The misbehaving elf! Come on, give me my train. I wanted to check out the caboose on this train. And maybe we find a way to route the train so that we do not interfere with the scenario. We did this scenario yesterday already. That was the one where we, where we had to fill it with coal. And maybe instead of actually filling it with coal we can drive about and get the mastery done sit in the seat set the direction to forwards the big break to no effort at all they are just telling you every bit that you need to do small break is already at no effort my class lights, I wanted my class lights on, right? Are they on now? Yes, they are. The old thing with the F7, if the lights don't work, just push the button a couple of times on and off and then it will probably work. So maybe we can do a big loop if I just switch it here into a another direction. Don't go to the fireplace. Oh, yeah, we're passing the fireplace obviously, but then we go somewhere else. going to the garden door but somewhere else straight ahead straight ahead into the loop stay in the loop now we are actually looping past the transmogrifier Just watch out that we are not speeding, because if we are speeding, most probably we will be kicked out. So there was actually nothing to gain for my great idea to climb onto this cupboard using this electric cord. And we still have to check if there is a working pressure gauge in, in the caboose. I 
I think if we go faster than 50 we will derail inadvertently and I wonder if there is any any message in the game telling you that you are done now with circling and that you have driven far enough jerks us around quite heavily here <coughs> I wonder if we should go with a different loop like going here and then to the right to the left, straight ahead. Oh no, we're speeding! Running through the sofa station. Whoops. I guess those switches are not for 50 miles. And doing the loop at the Christmas tree in the reverse direction. we turned around actually just make sure that we are not running into a siding otherwise we will derail What do you think? How far do we have to drive? How many loops do we have to do until we, until we got the mystery done? And do we have to finish the scenario? Or will it just work without finishing the scenario? Maybe we finish the, the scenario to be on the safe side and then see how much there is left on the clock. So I will do one more round and, and then probably we will stop actually at the garden door and load our train with coal and drive to the fireplace and then we see if we can actually do that mastery here or if this just takes too long.
Where's the garden door, by the way? Where, how do we get there? We set the switch here. And then we should probably end up at the garden door. Maybe should have tried to spawn on foot and not in a scenario. Maybe then we can just get on the train and ride it. Again, the big break doesn't really break a lot. Bloop. But it was enough. This actually rhymes carefully moving the train at less than 5 miles per hour. Crawl under the toy loading tower. Probably they couldn't find a rhyme for tipple. So load my coal. Drive so soft, not causing a ripple under the toy loading tipple. To keep the elf guessing on what you're up to, drive around the room so that he doesn't try to disrupt you. Alright, now that I switched around all my switches, I need to make sure that we're going into the correct direction. It's... The train is heavy. Next is what? Mm, 
next is the sofa station. That means we have to turn right and right and left. Yes. All good. the Christmas tree. Yes, that looks good. This is probably wrong because we need to go to the fireplace afterwards. Maybe. Sideboard first. I didn't make it. I have to go to the sideboard. Was shaking around too much. May maybe we needed the, the special miles anyway. So, next time we pass there, it should be good. So, Christmas tree again. Maybe we should use the 8 camera more often. Yeah, now it is set correctly. Ah, it's the Lego Via. I did not need to prepare for stopping. Because we have to go to the fireplace. And then I hope we drove around l l enough to to uh, to to fulfill the mastery requirements <coughs> You should fill the requirements. So you think it should be enough? I drove drove a lo around a lot at least. And I will have to reverse again because, well, I definitely have to work on my braking here.
come on, push it uphill. Yes. Here it comes. At least that worked. Great job! That should keep the living room warm. Let's see how you did by checking your form. Let's see how we did by checking the mastery requirements. Let's see if that was enough. No, it wasn't. Can you please not always get into... Oh, look. That is a lot that there is still to drive. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, we can't do this in this stream. So, we have to drive... I think about four times what we have driven so far. Well, we tried. And... Uh, we will have to do the toy driving, the toy car driving, something else. American army jeeps, very nice. Okay, at least we managed to f to finish the scenario that we couldn't finish yesterday because of me making the mistake of uh, cutting the train in the one spot and the game advancing the scenario anyway and just halting it at a later point. So at least we know what the problem was and we solved that. And uh, thank you AJ for bearing with me on this additional surprise stream. Thank you everybody else for watching and uh, I will be back on Thursday night with the Arosa line and Swiss signaling. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs>